So what we're going to talk about here is the atomic model. So from the results of the alpha, uh, alpha particle scattering experiment, we know that there is a centralized nucleus in the atom and it's pretty much surrounded by empty space where these tiny little electrons are orbiting around it. Okay, so this is of course the uh, Bohr model or the Rutherford model. So let's look at, take a closer look at the nucleus. Now the nucleus consists of particles known as nucleons or basically particles that reside in the nucleus and these consist of protons and neutrons okay and I think from the name you can probably tell right that protons have a positive charge plus e okay neutrons have no charge and of course we all know that electrons have a charge of minus e so when we look at uh, any kind of nucleus right there is always a nuclear notation and so this will be the chemical symbol of the uh, element or the atom, whichever, right? And it comes with two numbers, okay? Let's call them X and Y. So what we call this, this is the atomic number, okay? Or the proton number. This is the nucleon number, or sometimes we call it the mass number. So basically, Y is how many protons there are in the nucleus, and X is how many nucleons in the nucleus. And so if we want to find the number of neutrons, then of course what we have to do, we have to take X minus Y. So I hope this is very clear. And so moving on, right, something interesting about this uh, nucleon number, I'm going to introduce you to a symbol, U, the Unified Atomic Mass Unit. So 1u is equal to 1.66 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. This is a unit of mass that we use very commonly in nuclear physics. Right? And a lot of times, if you take the nucleon number x multiplied by u, you will get the mass of that nucleus in kilograms. It's just something that's very useful for, for you to know, but an approximate mass of it. It won't be exactly or won't be particularly accurate, but it's good enough for most situations. So finally... Uh, let me introduce you to a term known as isotopes. All right, so isotopes are basically, well, nuclei of the same element, okay, but with a different number of neutrons, right? So basically, there's the same number of protons, but the neutron number or the number of neutrons could be slightly different. So this could be N1, N2. Okay, so in other words, you will have the same proton number, but you will have a different uh, nucleon number. 